before people get pissy in the comments, I just want to say, if you are going to tell me it's just a beta wait for release, one, you are a moron and an idiot, but I got proof of why I'm not listening to you. People said the same thing about Fallout 76's beta, look how that turned out. People said this about Anthem's beta, look how that turned out. People even said this about Ghost Recon Wildlands beta, and look how it turned out at release. People said this about the Call of Duty games that have been released throughout the last, I don't know, six or five years, and look how they turned out at release. So, just to make it clear, there are there's probably not going to be substantial changes that are going to fix the problems that are with this beta okay let's be realistic take ubisoft stick out your mouth and let's use common sense here thank you so first let's talk about what i do like so i do like the trans modification system or the customizing page as you can see on screen you can change your cosmetics and I really like how you can now find different cosmetics in different parts of the game compared to Wildlands. In Wildlands, a lot of them were either behind the microtransaction store or the tier system, or there were a few when you do certain tasks like completing certain missions or side missions and you would get certain cosmetics. In this time, they're all scattered around the game. The injury system isn't a pain in the ass. It actually isn't. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. Ubisoft did a really good job in not trying to make it such a pain in the ass to, to do. Because when I saw it in the E3 presentation, I thought it was probably going to be very frustrating to deal with. I played on normal and it's not. They actually managed to find a pretty good balance to how you can um, withstand DPS before the injury system procs. I also liked the camo prone in the game, so when you're prone on your belly, you can use the um, environment that you're laying down on, and you can cover yourself in mud or dirt, you know, a bit like in Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and basically you can hide from enemies and stay still, which I think was a pretty cool added feature to the game. Now onto the things that I do not like about this beta you have been warned so when it comes down to this beta guys there is a light level system from destiny in this game how does it work so how this works is you change your clothes and your weapons with higher numbers in the beta i believe it goes up to 50 and with this beta you basically change your stuff to get higher light level and so your weapons and you can take more damage and deal more damage. Why is this in a Ghost Recon game? Why? You, like really, why do you have to make this a looter shooter? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And Ubisoft are telling us that they're trying to push realism in this game. Now let's talk about the menus in this game. Or beta, sorry. The menus in this are atrocious. They're a complete mess. I, I don't understand why there are so many menus upon menus in this game. And they are so hard to navigate. And they are so cluttered. And they take long to load. Ubisoft, you need to simplify that shit ASAP. I'm not joking. I'm not gassing. I'm not lying. This is all true. The, the menus in this are annoying. Even the shop in the hut or in the in the home base which i'm going to get to very soon yeah um, it takes ages to load and then when it does load it's just loads of unnecessary stuff on the menu make that stuff simple like in wildlands and there is a social space in this game oh my god uh, yes just like the tower in destiny there is a social space so in this social space you're basically in a cave called the air one uh, i think it's ear one it's it's spelt ear one i believe I, I could be wrong there and basically you go in there you sort your stuff out you go to the little shop to get your weapons and your cosmetics or you get your your mission brief or debriefing and get your little cutscenes and stuff 
or it is the little place for you to do pvp yeah it's basically the social space as you would get in destiny 2 or destiny 1 it doesn't matter which destiny why is that in here it's not necessary it really isn't and now let's talk about the gameplay unfortunately the gameplay is somehow worse than wildlands from what i've noticed and what my friend zedi has noticed there is a delay in your movements it's a bit like kill zone but when you play a game like kill zone you move to toggle and there's like a a couple of milliseconds for your character to actually respond to how you move and then it's like the same as this the movement in this is quite heavy and slow and i'm not sure why that's the case maybe it's because they wanted it to be realistic i don't know it's not a very good change in this and now let's talk about the gunplay in this game i have been a critic about this when it comes down to the promotion that the gameplay has been shown on the internet and unfortunately it is exactly how i thought it was going to be the gunplay is very sluggish and it doesn't feel meaty there are some guns that do let's not get it twisted there are some guns in this game in this beta that do feel quite meaty and do hit hard but not not all the guns are like this why are there certain guns that feel heavy and feel like they pack a punch but certain ones don't and then there is the stagger that you get but none of the enemies seem to get when you shoot them I've noticed this in the gameplay that has been shown at E3 and some other gameplay showings and it's in this beta too. Enemies can stagger you when they shoot you, but you can't stagger them when you shoot them. This doesn't make sense. Look, you're seeing it on screen right now. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing has changed from Wildlands because this is the same issue that we can get in Wildlands today. Enemies barely stagger. You basically shoot them and they continue to shoot you as they are being shot. This needs to change ASAP. So, general impressions. I don't think this is going to be very good at release, but I'm still going to give this game a chance. Yes, I have pre-ordered Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm still going to give the game a chance despite the flaws that I am seeing in this beta. Because one, I absolutely loved Ghost Recon Wildlands. I even went as far to even platinuming that game. I spent hundreds of hours onto it and I thought it was a fantastic game uh, about a year and a half after its release. Um, I damn well know the game was not very good at release. But Ubisoft do have a good reputation of keeping with their guns. So if a game turns out to be bad they end up fixing the game and making it a pretty solid game at, afterwards like um rainbow six siege was one of them the division uh what else was it for honor was one of those games that they turn around i believe this game could also turn around but it's i don't think it's going to be very good at release but i'm not making a final judgment yet because this is just a beta and i will let you know if the game's going to be good or not at release in my review of course but uh, i don't know what to really say man like to me i feel that, that they've just deviated from what ghost recon is it's supposed to be a tactical shooter this doesn't feel very tactical to me man it feels like division you know it feels like a a, a non sponge spongy enemy division if you actually hold on if you guys did like the division 2 but you don't like the sponges then you'll probably like this a bit more because th there are no sponges but there is a looting and a grinding economy in this um, beta and i'm assuming it's going to be in the game too so if you guys do like looter shooters but you don't like the sponginess of the division this is probably going to be the game for you but it is going to have flaws in the beginning of it be warned and um the graphics so i've had a, i've had mixed feelings about this sometimes the graphics look better than wildlands and sometimes they don't 
Um, there have been occasions where there has been some serious popping when it comes down to the textures, especially when you're in the, the mother base or the social hub or whatever you want to call it. I've seen a lot of popping in that area specifically. And for some people, you might hate that. Some people, you might not care. I don't really care, but it's it, I have to mention it because obviously people are going to consider buying this. I have to tell them everything. It is there, but obviously that can also be sorted out in a patch, I believe. But the whole looter shooter thing, in my opinion, why? Ghost Recon is a very simple game. It's supposed to be a lot simpler than a lot of people think. It can simply be a single player game with PvP. That's what, seriously, it could just be that and I'd be okay with it. But it's because everybody wants to make a looter shooter because that's where the most revenue comes from. It, it just feels so unnecessary. Like grinding for loot in the map, leveling up, getting this light level system in there it's just not necessary it really isn't yes there was a tier system in ghost recon wildlands but that one made a bit more sense like yes play on a harder difficulty to get some of the better rewards to get some of the cosmetics like there was a, a sick sniper rifle in the tier system and basically to, to play the tier system you have to play on a harder difficulty get xp by doing side missions or collecting resources and then this is one sniper rifle that could literally one hit a tank or a helicopter out of the sky but it was worth the grind that that's more of a grind that i'm okay with but with this ubisoft are sending mixed signals it's one minute you're, you're telling me oh where we want to make a much more realistic game. It, it's not realistic to have all of this light level shit. And it's not realistic that one man, one man is going to go and like rescue everybody that's on an island that has a whole army that's trying to kill you and who are just as skilled as you. This doesn't make sense. Which one is it? Because this is not realistic. I don't. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Like, look, I'm. I, look, it doesn't have to be realistic, brother. It's a fucking video game. It's not real. I know. But if Ubisoft are trying to promote this as a realistic experience, you can't have this in the game. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, I don't really give a shit. Like, I don't. I, I, games aren't real. Yes, I get it. I know some people try to make their games more realistic than others. Fine. But if you're going to do that, you have to stick with it. You can't be saying, oh, this part's realistic. But wearing a different pair of jeans makes me more able to take more damage. That doesn't make sense. That's not real, bro. <laughs> That's not real. Yeah? So I've got a cold, by the way. So when people are telling me that... It's just a beta. Oh, this, it, it does make sense. It, it doesn't make sense, bro. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself, fam. Because, brother, I'm a passionate Ghost Recon fan. Let's not get this twisted. I, I know what I'm talking about. But if you're going to say this is a realistic thing, take all of this light level stuff out the game. It's not needed. It's not. Add loads of cosmetic. Yeah, fine. Okay, if you want to monetize the hell out of the game, fine. I don't mind crazy cosmetics. Fine. Yeah? Make me wear, like, medieval knight's armor. Fine. If, you, if that's what you want to put your microtransactions into, and if that's what people want to buy, fine. Cosmetics, I'll be okay with. But this light level system, bruv, is a complete no-no. Yes, I know I've been hard on this beta. I know. But I am passionate about the Ghost Recon brand. I love Ghost Recon. But in my opinion, fam, this is just not it, bro. This beta ain't it. But I'm still going to give it a chance. So if I were you, hold off for a little bit. Just wait for the reviews and make your decision. Or if you don't care about reviews, you're a lost cause. I'm not talking to you. But for those who are cautious, like kind of thinking about getting into Ghost Recon wait 
Yeah, just wait. And if you're into looter shooters, you might you might like this because this is a, a, this this basically is a poor man's looter shooter. It is. Yeah, but that's what I really got to say for this video, man. Um, I know it's a bit negative, but I expect more from Ubisoft. Ubisoft have made some of my favorite games of all time, fam. Assassin's Creed 2, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. There have been a few, even Splinter Cell, this Chaos Theory. I love that game. I, I love the Splinter Cell franchise as a whole, bruv. Yeah? I know they can do better than this, and I know they're going to do better probably a few weeks, a few months after its release. But that's all I've really got to say for this video, folks. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.